and welcome to Simple As That. I'm Andrea Kazee, and today on this um, episode, what we're going to do is paint on a mat, um, uh, like a welcome mat. And so what I did is I created a stencil, um, and you could do this yourself or um, you can buy stencils, um, but this is something that I made for um, my mat, and it just says, well, hello there. I, originally, I, I had all kinds of ideas, but the more I thought about it, the less words I wanted on this mat. And of course, this is a pin that I had found, so we're going to see how easy this is, um, or hard, or if it's going to be a win or a fail. But I'm, I'm excited. I've wanted to do this for a while, and um, so basically, so your supplies are very simple. Um, you need your stencil. I'll set that aside. And then here is our mat that we're going to use. Um, it's just a simple um, natural fiber uh, mat with it. It has a rubber backing. Um, just so you can find these at your um, local department store. And so what we'll do is we'll take off the label, throw some of this plastic away, and get on the back side. It has, there we go, pull that through. Okay, and we're going to set this aside for now because we'll come back to it. All right, now we're going to get to work on our stencil. Now, if you'll see here, it says, well, oh, well, hello there. And I think what we'll mostly use the stencil for is the hello. And then I think I'll try to freehand the well and the there on, on we'll see how that goes. So first thing we're going to do is get our X-Acto knife. That's one of the supplies you're going to need for this portion. Um, I always like to have a nice new blade. Of course, we don't want to injure ourselves. Uh, if this is, after all, just supposed to be a fun project and we don't want a trip to the ER. But I think it's always good to start with a nice sharp blade so you're not having to push so hard. Um, so once you get that, on there. Underneath I have a self-healing mat, so that's something important to have. And um, you can see I have lines on here. I also have a handy ruler, and it's a metal ruler. And I'm going to go get that. I think that will help me keep my lines straight. Some of them are curved, but I really want to keep the, the lines nice and crisp. So I'm going to get my metal ruler, and that will help me a bunch. And then we'll come back and we'll get started cutting these letters out. All right, I found my handy metal ruler. Now some metal rulers even have like a rubber bottom on them to help them from moving around, but mine doesn't have one. But we're gonna go ahead and make the most of it. So we just wanna make sure that our, we're on the self-healing mat. And what I'm gonna do is just cut inside the black area. And I'm gonna go do all of the straight lines first. And of course, we're gonna get rid of the black. So, we just need to make sure we stay inside the white. You could freehand this as well, but I like having that ruler edge so I just make sure that I have some clean lines throughout the stencil. Okay, now I'm going to kind of lift to make sure I'm still on that. And we're going to get these letters cut out. And when we come back, we're going to place it onto the rug and get the hello traced out on the rug so that we can get started painting.
Norton County Hospital would like to welcome Dr. Todd Pankratz, an OBGYN who is now accepting patients. This means women can receive local specialized care for high-risk pregnancies, infertility, medical weight loss, and various surgeries. With Dr. Pankratz and on-staff physicians, the hospital hopes to serve as a premier facility for women's health care, and this care extends to the entire family as more than 60 babies are welcomed here each year. The Norton County Hospital, dedicated to caring, commitment, and community. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. Western Auction and Real Estate LLC is ready to travel to you. Their team includes auctioneers and real estate specialists that will exceed your expectations. They offer experience in agriculture real estate, commercial and residential sales, and farm equipment auctions. Plus, they conveniently travel to your location. And it doesn't stop there. Visit westernauctionandrealestate.com today to shop their online equipment auctions too. For professionalism from concept to completion, it's Western Auction and Real Estate. Your home's exterior is the best defense against harsh weather conditions. With insulated vinyl siding, energy efficient windows, spray foam insulation, and metal roofing from AquaShield Roofing and Construction, you can protect your home from howling winds and ice cold temperatures. Don't let Mother Nature interfere with the comfort of your home. Call or visit us online today for a free estimate. AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Our team is dedicated to your complete satisfaction. So what we have now, I've gotten all the letters cut out, and if you'll see the O here, I left it attached at the top and the bottom, and I can just quickly make those lines. So we're gonna grab the rug now, and we're gonna place the template on there. And you know what I think I will do really quick is I'm gonna cut these edges off so I can see See where the rug is. I want to make sure I get this centered because that would not be cool if I got it on there and it was all slightly off. So now I can really see it and get it lined out here. Okay, so this line here is the top and this line here is the oh, opposite, flip-flop, top, bottom. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some tape and I'm gonna tape it on each side so that it doesn't move while I outline. What I'm gonna do is outline each letter with a Sharpie marker. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna freehand with a Sharpie marker the well and there. And um, that way I can go back with the paint and I, we're gonna use kind of a um, stenciling technique, which is a tapping technique to get the, the uh, some people spray paint, but I just really felt like I would rather um, stencil it and use the tapping technique to get this done. So we are gonna do that quick. And I've got just got some clear tape and that's really all I need. I'm going to actually tape it down to the counter as well. That way, nothing moves. So we have it kind of taped there. And we'll tape it on this side. Okay. Now we'll just take a Sharpie marker and we're just gonna go.
with all of this stuff flying, you would think you might want to wear safety goggles. Looks like it's shorter. Back and forth motions get the most ink where it needs to go. Might have to get the vacuum cleaner out after this. As you can see, the textiles are just flying, the little particles. Okay. Okay, now we're going to get some paint. What we're going to do is we're going to stipple and try to stay within and um, then we'll pull it off and we'll freehand the well there and we should be pretty close to being done. So let me grab the paint and we'll be right back. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. $10,000 With seven agents in three locations, Hammond Land and Auction Incorporated can meet your every need when it comes to your next sale. Visit them at HammondAuction.com and you'll find all their upcoming sales including farms, ranches, as well as farm equipment and even real estate listings, both residential and commercial. They've been serving western Kansas since 1983 and with offices in Stockton, Russell and Hayes, they're always nearby to assist you. Hammett Land and Auction Incorporated, contact them today. Gove County Medical Center provides compassionate care combined with today's latest technology. We offer a wide range of services to meet the growing needs of you and your family, including surgical and swing bed services, cardiac and cancer rehab, as well as our pain clinic, long-term care, OB, and ongoing lactation assistance. Serving all of Northwest Kansas, our team of doctors and staff are committed to healing through caring. Visit govecountymedicalcenter.org and find us on Facebook to learn more. Some mobile phone providers think they can just take, take, take. They'll all take an arm and a leg for a new phone. Got it. And look out if you go over your data limit. I didn't see that coming. Unlimited data plans as low as $20 per line. Come into any of our stores for a free, upfront, and honest consultation about your data and wireless needs. Next Tech Wireless, the carrier you trust. Okay, all right, now I have my paint and my brush. And so we're gonna start in the middle and our work our way out towards the outside. And we're gonna kind of do that up and down motion so that we get down in the fibers. Hopefully that Sharpie line will keep it nice and clean.
can't wait to see what it looks like. So what we will do here on the O is we'll go back in and we'll fill it in when we take the stencil off. Again, I think this is going to need a cure. I wouldn't want anyone to walk on it for a good 24 to 48 hours. Give it plenty of time to set up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take this off. And we are just going to move it slightly ahead because I, I want to see the well and the there so that I can properly align them. So. You can see that's what it looks like right now. I really think it turned out great. So I'm gonna fill in that O and make that O look correctly. So what I'm gonna do is just grab my good old Sharpie and draw a line across about where I feel like it should be. Just give myself a guideline. And this brush is kind of taking a beating. I have a smaller one I'm going to use for this. Fill that in. And then just kind of go back. That turned out much better than I had anticipated. I didn't know what to expect. So that looks really great. I feel really good about that. It was messy, but I think now we're gonna try to do some freehand. I'm gonna use my Sharpie and I'm gonna um, just freehand cursive well and there in these areas. Then I'll go back and I'll stipple the, um, over the top of the Sharpie. I think it'll work. I had to make, I gave myself plenty of room. I wondered if I would have to make the letters a little bit bigger. I made them pretty small on the template, but this is a lot harder to freehand on than I, I had anticipated. So definitely give yourself plenty of room. And what we're gonna use now is the smaller stencil brush and then we're gonna make sure we have plenty of paint. Okay. And we're gonna keep our paint close so that if we dribble, it, we don't dribble too far. And we're just gonna go and try to keep the letters the same width as our brush. And just be patient, take your time. that T and then we're gonna give you a look here I 
All right, wow, that turned out better than I had anticipated. I was really worried, but I think it works. So now you know that you can make your own custom um, entrance mat for someone that you love or for yourself. Um, this is a definitely a pin win, not too bad at all. I hope you um, enjoyed this episode of Simple As That. Please follow us on Pinterest and inter Instagram, and uh, I hope you'll check out what we're up to next. Thanks for watching.